Hi, and welcome to my presentation. Today, I will present our IEEE Transactions and Power Systems paper entitled Convex Relaxations of Probabilistic AC Optimal Power Flow for Interconnected AC and HVDC Grids. My name is Andreas Fenske, and this is joint work with Spiros Hatsivasiliadis from the Technical University of Denmark. First, I would like to motivate the topic. High voltage direct current or HVDC technology is being increasingly utilized to connect offshore wind farms and interconnect asynchronous areas. And this is exemplified by the North Sea Wind Power Hub project, where a consortium of European TSO investigates the construction of an artificial island in the North Sea. Around this island in shallow waters, large scale offshore wind farms are envisioned and um, from the island, several HVDC connections to the neighboring countries are envisioned as well. These developments require novel operational tools, which account for the uncertainty inherent to renewable generation and stochastic loads, such as electric vehicles. At the same time, these tools should be able to utilize the full available controllability for example, the active and reactive power capability of HVDC converters. And finally, these tools should above all ensure system security. The methodology that we propose in our paper uses the full AC OPF formulation to model the AC and HVDC grids and the HVDC converter. We use a joint chance constraint to account for the uncertainty in wind generation. And the chance constraint here means that we define a maximum allowable violation probability for all the operational constraints of the interconnected AC and HVD secrets. We use the semi-definite relaxation to address the non-convexity of the AC OPF problem. The chance constraints are in their standard form intractable, so we propose a procedure using randomized and robust optimization to achieve tractability. And this is illustrated in the two figures on the right. In the top figure, we can see that we draw a certain number of scenarios of wind um, forecast error realizations, here shown in green. And then we construct the uncertainty set that encloses all these um, scenarios. And for the resulting um, rectangular uncertainty set, we can see in the bottom figure that we enforce the system state for the forecasted system state denoted with the subscript zero and all the vertices of the uncertainty set. And then the system state inside the uncertainty set is described as a piecewise affine approximation between the forecasted state and the corresponding system state at the vertices. We propose penalization methods to maintain AC feasibility of the solutions to the convex relaxation and we use Bender's decomposition for scalability. For the simulation results, we consider a test case that consists of two IEEE 24 bus systems interconnected with a five bus multi-terminal HVD secret. This system has two onshore and one offshore wind farm, which are the sources of uncertainty. To evaluate the performance of our proposed methodology, we perform a Monte Carlo analysis with 10,000 scenarios from realistic wind forecast data. We compare our approach to an existing approach using the DC OPF approximation and find that our approach achieves compliance with the joint chance constraints, whereas the DC OPF approximation um, violates the constraints. So the empirical observed violation probability is higher than the specified maximum allowable. More importantly, our approach allows to utilize both active and reactive power HVDC converter control capabilities. So here on the right, we can see that for the converter C3, the active and reactive um, power set points, and we can see that for the different realization of the forecast errors of the wind farms, both active and reactive power um, are adjusted to maintain security. So to conclude, in our paper, we propose the tractable formulation of the chance constraint AC OPF problem for interconnected AC and HVDC grids using realistic wind forecast data and a 53 bus ACPC system. Our proposed formulation achieves compliance with the joint chance constraint 
and is also able to utilize the con corrective control capability of the HVDC converter. Our future research is directed towards utilizing distribution robust optimization and alternative penalization methods. For more details, please refer to our IEEE Transactions on Power System paper, or please feel free to directly reach out to me via email. I would like to thank you for your attention.